This is make and break. So if we check out what's in the box, you have these blocks that are different colors. You have cards. You have some sort of stopwatch timer. You have these little circle pieces that are worth one each, larger circle pieces that are worth ten each, and then you also have your die. When you start to play, give the cards a little bit of a shuffle. You don't have to go crazy, just mix them up a little bit. And you'll have two different people that play. So the first person, you can just roll the dice. I got a one. Let's pretend my friend rolled and he got a two. He could go first because he got the higher number. And the reason you roll this dice is that if it lands on something like two, you take your timer and that's how much you're going to set the time to before you hit start. So set it where it belongs and you can see that there's a little tick mark here that can either be on the one, two, or three. So when that timer's going, the player flips a card. Now these are all white pieces, so it doesn't matter what color I use. So I'm going to set this up and I'm going to try and match it perfectly. You'll see that gravity affects it and sometimes they fall, so that then you'll have to do a little rearranging to hold it in place and keep it locked down by the weight of the other blocks. And then you'll have the whole completed piece. Now if you could see higher in the image, you would see that this matches perfectly. So I got one, so this means I get to keep this guy, but my timer still hasn't gone off, and I keep on building. And if I get that one, I get to go again. Here I would have to use the same colors. I couldn't change them. And as far as I go, if I get four cards before my timer goes off, that means I would get four of these one-point pieces. Whenever I get up to ten, I could trade in for one of those, and that way I won't have twenty or thirty of these different pieces. When your timer goes off, then your buddy gets to roll, and whatever he lands, he resets the timer, and it's his turn to go as well. When you clean up, make sure all the blocks are returned, that the cards are stacked and facing the same way for the next people, that your timer is in here, and don't leave it on, and that you got all the one and ten piece and the die all snuck back in here before you close up and move to the next station or class.